My guest today is Lou Mendelson, and we're talking about his evolution as a programmer for software for traders. Lou, you first started implementing neural networks into the computer systems. What, what, what did you first learn about that? How did they work initially? Neural networks is a form of uh, artificial intelligence. Um, it is a mathematical uh, procedure that is able to find hidden patterns and relationships within data. It can discern these patterns that can't possibly be seen by the human eye. And it can do it in large, using large quantities of data, of different data. So it's, it's really something that you have to have a computer, you have to use this particular capability in order to accomplish the task. Um, in a sense, it's, it's really, well, I don't want to get too technical, but you know, it, basically you train the neural network with input data, raw data. You, there's a, a massaging of the data that you can do to what's known as pre-processing the data. Uh, and you create these different neural network models and then you have to assess them for their accuracy and so forth. So there's, a, there's an iterative process that is involved and in, it can be very laborious and very time consuming. What were the first results when you first tried to program these in? Were they working for you? Yeah, they were working. I went down a number of dead end streets and you know there were a lot of challenges but uh, I persevered and we were able to develop increasingly more sophisticated models of the markets that had higher predictive accuracy and uh, applied it to intermarket data. That was the whole key, was taking the mathematics of neural networks, applying it to the domain of intermarket analysis and coming out with an ability to forecast the markets, short-term forecasts. I'm not looking at you know, predicting what gold is going to do a year from today. We're talking about one day, two days, three days ahead. When we start getting out too far into the future, the accuracy of obviously uh, degrades. I would imagine that taking all that complexity and making it show up on the screen as a simple signal, that must have been tough to do. Well, it's not a signal that we're giving. We're, we're making forecasts. We're giving a prediction of what a market trend is likely to be going forward in the future on a given target market based upon the inputs of dozens and dozens of intermarkets that are affecting that target market. So how do you make it applicable for the everyday trader? How do you simplify all that data into something that they can use to make trading decisions? It's all done in the software. That was the key. Uh, you know, I, I did not want to uh, create a piece of software that you needed a PhD in mathematics to be able to use. My whole of, of focus has been on the average trader. What does a trader need in the way of a tool? Look, I just came back three days ago from the Middle East. I flew on a 777, Boeing 777. It's a big plane and it was a lovely ride, but I know nothing about jet propulsion and I frankly don't know what makes that plane get up off the ground. It's heavy. So I don't, I didn't need to know the underlying technology behind that plane, as long as I have a sense that the Boeing company's R&D department know what they're doing. It's the same thing with, with my research into neural networks and the application to intermarket analysis and, and uh, market forecasting. We know what we're doing. I've been doing it for decades. It's the single focus that I've had for decades. I haven't done anything else. This is what I've done. It's a, it's a very narrow niche focus that I've had and I've put together a team of associates that work with me who have a range of expertise and through that effort we have been able to make it work and the end user, the, the trader, doesn't need to learn anything about neural networks. He doesn't even need to know anything about intermarket analysis. He really just simply needs to use the software. And you've also got some patents based on all this research you've done over the years, right? Talk about That's that. That's true. Uh, Interestingly, when I, when I developed ProfitTaker and I first applied strategy backtesting to PCs, um, computer processes were not something that you could patent at the time. It wasn't allowable by the U.S. Patent Office, unfortunately. Uh, but uh, since then, of course, th they do allow for computer processes to be patented. So in, 19, uh, in 2009, uh, I applied for two patents to the U.S. Patent Office two related patents. The first one 
had to do with the entire process of training the neural networks, selecting the intermarket and uh, intermarkets, uh, so selecting the, the the neural network to actually use in the application. So, in that whole process over the years, which first began as a manual process that we were doing, has been completely automated. We have robotics that do it now for us. And so that process was something that is a highly proprietary technology that, that has been developed over the years. And we did, in fact, get a patent from the US Patent Office earlier this year for that. The related patent, which I, I know is uh, presently in the process of being approved, uh, has to do with taking the output from these neural network processes and developing how to develop these predictive technical indicators. And we've done that now with a whole slew of technical indicators that most traders are familiar with, moving averages, uh, RSI, stochastics, you, you name it. We have been able, through these processes, to transform technical indicators which traditionally for the last hundred years have been lagging and thought to be inherently lagging indicators, we have now been able to take them and transform them into predictive indicators. This is going to turn technical analysis upside down. It sounds like a trader can come in, even a new trader, and capture 40 years of your experience in a software program and trade on that. Yes. Lou, so the, the culmination of all this is TradeShark. Talk about how uh, it, it's different than anything else out there. Well, as I said, TradeShark is, has built itself on 35 years of, of involvement on my part in the financial markets and applying computerized technologies to the financial markets. Uh, everything that we've learned over the last 22 years and all of the R&D that went into TradeShark, which has now taken quite a few years uh, to develop, uh, really brings this software to a point where it's a point and click program that any trader, regardless of his level of trading, his expertise in the markets, whether he has any knowledge or no knowledge of math or whatever, can simply use the software. And I think that to be able to take something so sophisticated, something that, you know, we've gotten patents on the technology, and to be able to boil that down into a program that John Q. Trader can use uh, really represents a tremendous accomplishment and it really is the, it's the culmination of my lifetime work. And Lou, you know, we've talked a lot about the development of the software, but this is also a small business success story. Your, your family and next generation, your son's involved with this. Uh, that's going to make you proud as well. I, I'm very, very proud of uh, everything that we've accomplished over the last 35 years. And, and of course, it does make me very proud to have uh, my family involved in the company. It's, 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 it's almost been like my fourth child, uh, you know, sitting around the dining room table talking about markets and trading software has been part and parcel of my family. Uh, but yes, I, I, have, uh, I have granddaughters now and uh, we're already starting to prime them. <laughs> they will be involved in the financial industry and, and our company will continue to go on for decades to come. Lou, obviously you've done a lot over 35 years to develop this knowledge. What are you doing to kind of transfer that then also to your company so that it does go on for another 30, 50, 100 years? Around 10 years ago, I, I began to address that issue uh, in terms of not only uh, corporate succession, you know, in terms of the management of the company, but also the intellectual property of the company and how that gets managed and controlled and passed on to future generations. Uh, and I created what is known as the Predictive Technologies Group. It's really the, the group of researchers that have been working for, for years now on our software uh, products. Uh, engineers, programmers, mathematicians, and other support personnel, Q&A, a variety of people. So, what, yes, what started off as a one-man band 25, 35 years ago has actually evolved now into a very stable, very solid group of people who are, constitute an R&D department. Uh, and I've also, in the last maybe two or three years, have gotten my son Lane involved so that 
this R&D group works with him. I am obviously available to them, but he has really been spearheading the work in the prioritization of the products and the, in the projects that they work on so that th that can also be done, handled from a management standpoint in terms of overseeing the future activities of that group. What sets Trade Shark apart from all of the rest out there in a word? In one word, uh, timing. The fact that the software f actually does forecasting of market direction. Not looking backwards, but looking forward. Obviously, can't look forward with 100% predictive accuracy. That's not possible. But the level of predictive accuracy that we have been able to achieve based upon the decades of R&D that have gone into the whole uh, knowledge base that my firm has involving the area of price predictions and market pre trend predictions uh, is such that it allows our customers to gain an advantage, a competitive advantage over other traders that it's, it's, it's priceless because traders invariably get in too late, they get out too early, or they get out too late, they, they can't win and, and they end up giving back money and losing money. But if you can really get a handle on the turns that the markets are going to make, even a day ahead, it doesn't have to be a long time ahead, just a day ahead, that gives you an advantage that's priceless. And that's what Trade Shock is able to accomplish. It's a great success story. Lou, thanks for being here today. Thank you very much. We've been talking with Lou Mendelson, the developer of Trade Shark and the evolution of that as a great trading tool.